You said your mom just told you I bought these Greyhound bus tickets, I'm going mm -hmm. to Texas, and you didn't go with her. How does, how did that happen that she left you in an apartment by your, did she leave you by yourself in this apartment? Yeah, like she had, um, we were on welfare and stuff like that, so she um, paid that month's rent, which was only like $47, I wanna say, um, but she bought, with the rest of the welfare money, she bought her a Greyhound ticket, and she had bought me a movie ticket to go see The Pursuit of Happiness, and it was like, um... Wow, how I run. She didn't buy yeah. you a ticket, a, a bus well, ticket? Well, because I told her I didn't want to go. So mom buys herself a ticket, <laughs> right? She buys her bus ticket, she gives you a ticket to go to the movie, you go to the movie, she gets on the bus, and that's it? Yeah. So you come home from the movies, mom is gone, and you're just in this empty apartment by yourself? Yeah. How wow. long did you stay in the apartment by yourself? Um, I was there for two weeks, and then finally, like, family members kind of realized that she wasn't there. Oh, my goodness. Two Marshayla, weeks. what wow. were you doing and thinking in those two weeks by yourself? Well, she was supposed to reach back out to me, but she never did. Were you well, scared? I was terrified, but it was just like, when we hugged each other right before she got on the bus, it was kind of like we both knew we were never gonna see each other wow. again. I don't know oh. how to explain it. 13 years old, though. So I you mean... stayed by yourself two weeks and family members started coming over? Um, yeah. Did you eventually leave that apartment and go live with a relative? Um, no. Uh, well, my uncle had moved into my apartment, the apartment that my mom had left me in, but, um, you know, he had found out that I was smoking and drinking at the time, so he ended up... At 13, you were smoking and drinking? Yeah. And your mom gave you alcohol, right? Yeah, she was a person that... I can't say it was a friend or anything. Like, my mom introduced me to smoking and drinking. How old were you when she gave you your first smoke and your first alcohol experience? 11. Wow. Can I ask you, when your mother was pregnant with your little sister, did you see her drinking and, and things of this nature, that when she would have the child, that that's why they were working? I didn't my mom working? was pregnant until she gave birth. Wow. Oh. Until the day my little sister came out of her wound, I didn't think my mom, I did not believe her. She wasn't showing or anything? She was always overweight, okay. so I didn't right. believe so her. She never got prenatal care or anything like that. How old was your sister now when your mom took off on the bus with her? Three months. Wow. Three months. So you had your baby sister and knew her for three months. Everybody thought it was my child. Like, nobody thought, like, because I was, once my mom gave birth, like, I always had my little sister. Wow. Like, that was my baby. Like, you know, like, yeah. that was my, that was my heart. Does she my ever God. explain yeah. to you, especially now that she's contacting you again, why she did what she did? Um, we had an uh, open CPS case in Sacramento, California at the time, and she just felt like she was going to, you know, my little sister was three months old at that time. So she just felt like she was going to lose both of us. So she wanted to leave California to move to Texas. With a three-month-old baby. Yeah, but I just didn't want to. And so I was in foster oh, care from 13 okay. to 18. How was foster care for you? What was that experience like? Um, it was just... It was really hard. Like, people don't love you like they love so their... So how many different homes did you live in? I was living in kinship. Technically, it wasn't really foster care. It was, it was kinship. Kinship care, um, right. But three months before graduation, I was actually homeless. Oh, my wow. gosh. Well, Marshayla, your, your mother is here today. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I'm so what nervous. do you want to say to her? Like, I'm really proud of my mom. Like, I know that the world is gonna judge her, but, like, I'm frustrated and proud of her all in the same breath. Like, cause she did raise a 12-year-old this entire time, you know, but obviously you got your life together. Like, you know what I mean? And unfortunately, it wasn't with me, and unfortunately, you felt like you couldn't reach out to me, but I'm so happy. Like, I'm just so... I'm so happy. Like, I'm so happy for her. Like, I'm just so proud of her. Like, I... I'm so sorry, but it just strikes me that you are so well-spoken, so insightful, and even despite all of this, all the hardship you went through, you have such positive feelings for your mom. Mm -hmm. She loves her mommy. I know. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful.